Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie and this is episode 24 of Ocean Block. <laughs> and today we're going to get into some auto processing for our own resources. Let's go. Let's go do it. I don't know why I just decided to load in. Alright. Let's get eggs. I still want the eggs. I did do a little bit in between episodes. I got um, some of the auto processing started. I have uh, a pulverizer, pulverizing iron right now. It has quite a bit to, to do, so I've just been sitting there letting it run. And then I made a furnace to smelt the iron dust that that produced. packing drawer and quartz snuck in there and I pulled out a block instead of the four bits so I had to melt it in the smelter and stuff. Um, I'm having a problem with these induction smelters uh, because if something uh, like you can put more than one thing in here and if it doesn't make a recipe it just uh, clogs up so like I had redstone in there and I wanted to do the diamond next and instead of it waiting until the redstone was gone it just started feeding the diamond clusters in there uh, and that caused it to stop so I have to do an induction smelter for each different thing which is no good and I have tons of quartz clusters it's a good thing I had a whole bunch over here backed up. I'm going to have to get a sorted, uh, storage system for this, a better one, uh, maybe in a little a smaller version of this. And just hook uh, an external storage up to it like this. Uh, so now uh, I also have it putting all of the iron over here. When it's smelted, it gets put into there. So now we have uh, two stacks of blocks, almost three. So that's really good. Uh, I want to get some more uh, compacting drawers because we're going to do, I think we're going to do gold next. We still have uh, two stacks of gold to do. Um, so what I need is one of these. And I want to tell it to store that there. Now once uh, the iron is done, it should try to store the gold there. Which we don't have a lot of gold. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of that out since there's not a lot of it and put it over here oh yeah uh, stacks of gold that's not a whole lot <laughs> I'm, I made several 4k storage uh, discs and they were all filling up. <laughs> I put everything in there. Uh, so I went ahead and made this, the 16K and put it in there. Um, 16K storage and it's already starting to use it. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, get another 16K I need a, I need a disc manipulator. I think. So I can pull all the stuff off of there without having to, you know, 
manually do it one by one. Uh, I wonder if what I have would even fit in there anymore. Into the modular storage. Um, let's see. I guess I could make some more compacting drawers. There we do. Uh, so we're gonna need like six pistons because I have three drawers. Aww. This way we can have it storing some of uh, the metals we have in there. Yeah, I was doing that for that one and the quartz snuck in there before I could... Uh, also, I added another netherite sluice over here. Although I think as fast as this is going, I could probably use just the one. Because it's it's not running all the time, uh, and I hooked the material stonework factory up with the pulverizer to produce dust, uh, so we can actually have all of the resources available. So there we go. Um, so let's try. What do we have the most of? Quantity. D78. Okay, that's because we have that in the storage thing already. We have that one. What is the next? Metal. I guess so. Copper. Let's do copper. Oh, now let's do it by name. Copper. That's bronze. system uh, so that I can swap those discs out and uh, I can do I can do that in between episodes I don't need to do that now uh, I did show you the 16k storage disk 
I uh, wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I did through, chew through several stacks of silicone, though. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what I finished that. Um, I think there was an update today, so maybe that did something to it. I, I don't know. It's still showing that I finished the section. I feel bad about claiming the rewards again. There we go, 16k. Rare shader grab bag. I don't know what those are. Micro shark. Let's just go ahead and claim them and we'll put them in the chest. Oh, it just says the cobble. Oh, and this gives you... Oh, okay. So we haven't actually claimed this stuff. <gasps> it gives you resources, so that's kind of nice. Though I didn't get those. That's fine, that's fine. Um, I actually wanted to have sand. Uh, we'll put it in here for now. I wanted to have sand and for like for glass, and this thing is just eating through all the sand now. getting those resources that would uh, would have helped a lot early on so I guess that's uh, what they added in the, the update pretty cool oh, gotta be getting close down to a stack and 26 clusters in here <laughs> My cat is snoring again. He's so cute. We only have the four diamond clusters. Um, oh, I did not mean to do that. We might need to put Some of those upgrades in. I know it takes more power. Let it rain. I know we had nebular consumption upgrade, fortune upgrade. That's what I want right there. Increases drop chance by 3% per upgrade. care how long it takes. I just want the best rates. I want the best rats. Woo! And I am 
gonna need quite a bit more of these compacting drawers for words. <laughs> so put those in there. Wait, we get more diamonds. <laughs> so we're going to need another um, induction smelter. just made some more cast iron in between episodes, so... Oh, the blast furnace. capacitor and some of those dielectric rods. Well, probably not enough. Oh, I'm missing the hardened capacitor. Oh, I must have a blazing capacitor. If I put diamonds on there, that should be enough. And I can manually put in some lapis if I need it. I have so much. I don't want to break it down because uh, that would turn into uh, ungodly amounts of lapis. Okay, so it's finished. It's finished with the redstone. Hmm. To 
question is, how much redstone is it? Do I want to store it? 1.4k. But it's still processing all of that nether quartz I put in there. Which is. Where is it? Is it. anywhere. Oh, there they are. Yeah, it's still got quite a bit to go. Oh. <laughs> okay. So what I've been doing is putting an exporter and an importer in the back. An exporter on the top, an importer in the back. Uh, that's in through the top, out through the back. And those aren't too bad to make. machines to make them process faster. Um, my power is doing good over here. Um, I'm still, when, when I put all the sand in there and it ate all the sand, it sucked down the power really quickly and uh, then, it, then it leveled off after it used it all up. Uh, so they're still full again, uh, and we're not utilizing all the, the power they're producing. So that's that's good. Um, so let's make these uh, guys. We're going to need a destruction core and a construction core. go. This is, this is the exporter. It goes on top. That's exporting from the system. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, so we want to do the diamond clusters for that. Uh, we also, before we do that, we want to make sure that it's got the cinnabar loaded. 
oh, this is so much nicer uh, <laughs> than doing it manually. All right, it should start producing our diamonds. Uh, so we got diamonds, quartz, and redstone. Um, yeah, I think in between episodes, I'm going to set this chest up as a um, drawer system, separate drawer system. them build up because I have uh, I got like a block of netherite from a quest reward or looting something uh, so I was gonna make uh, netherite seeds if it's possible how's it doing over here makes less to upgrade the cable than it does to just make a new one. You get half. Ooh. Now I gotta figure out how to get uh, all the mob stuff uh, showing up in here. That will be a chore. Uh, to have to run cable all the way out there or I don't know how I would do that I guess we'll figure it out what is this? oh that's a block of tin that looks cool that looks cool um Yeah, so that's what I've been doing. Why isn't it going in? saw that uh, it was a drain and that would have backed it up. Oh! Oh, it just had a uh, redstone get processed. Oh! <sighs> that was so nice uh, to have it automatically smelt and take care of itself. It was uh, quite a chore trying to keep up with all the the processing of the, the clusters uh, especially doing it in the smeltery where I'd have to take everything out oh, and iron in here yeah all right um, let's see what, do we, what can we do here? Um, fluid grid, oh, a pattern grid. We'll definitely need a pattern grid because uh, we'll want that if we start getting into the, the crafters. These automatically uh, craft items for you. So that's nice. And 
and I'll, I'll try to do, oh, these are so painful, <laughs> the, the storage disks, they're just a lot of combines, um, a lot of running back and forth. If I had a crafter, I could uh, at least automate some of the um, components for it. Yeah. What does it take to make a crafter? I'm in the red. Oh, that's advanced processors. Oh, what? I ran out of. Uh, So we need a construction core, we need a destruction core, and we need a machine casing. Oh, I need some more enriched iron. go the crafter uh, now we just put patterns in there which we need a pattern grid uh, I don't know that I want that there Ooh. maybe So yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. Oh, let's uh, get our quest reward. Boop. What is that? Explosive mycelial generator? That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Bye.